And did you feel like giving them advice, Talia? Because like, you know, through X Factor, like you've been in the public eye yourself. So you've been at this for a while. Yeah, I mean, I started at 13. If anything, I don't even, um, you know, I think it just comes down to hunger. You know, I, I wake up every day and I'm like, I'm so grateful to be where I am that I'm like, I just have this drive in me. And I think that's not something you can teach people. You've either got it or you're not. So I'm not here to slag off these women and be like, oh my goodness, look at them having no social media presence. It's like, you, be, you either want it or you don't. And they're just, here to say step up. You know, they, I'm not even here to say that. You know, it's our job to entertain and, you know, you just get replaced. So <laughs> it's like, if you're not working hard enough, then someone else will steal your spot. And I think in London, that that is how life is it's like yes. if I don't give you 110% you will find another blonde who can sing do tv and present so it's like you know it's my job every day to be working 110% you know inspiring doing whatever we've got to do you know sometimes yeah you know it might be a car crash it might not go well but it's like hey you get up the next day and I just think um they don't have that and maybe it's just because Jersey is the land of like sheep and like cows I don't <laughs> know but like at the same time, it's like, I think Jersey's one of the most beautiful places in the world. So let's yeah. like, you don't have to be in London with your big red buses posing in, you know, Pakistan. You know, let's go down to the beaches. Let's pose there. Let's, you know, let's celebrate Jersey for what it is and all the incredible talent it has there. So I think um, it's just life is about what you make of it. And I think they're perhaps on a different journey from what we see this kind of in entertainment fun incredible franchise as also I think what's really important is you know I have built my business by being a team player I mean you know obviously I like to think I've got leadership skills but at the end of the day you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with mm -hmm. and I've been a big fan of supporting and bringing people onto my projects that are brilliant in their own field creativity photography styling whatever it is so you know it's the people that make the team and so I kind of feel that with Mr Trick because it was so kind of um, vitrolic um, and it was so, it was very divisive. I, I, and I think that they've missed a trick. I think had we actually been able to resolve our differences and get over our egos by showing the world that we can come together again as a group of strong women, we could have been really onto something. Um, and I think that's not what people get to see this season. So I think, yeah, I think that's a shame. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes, like you were saying, Talia, like that housewives, make I mean like just from speaking to all of them they really don't understand that you could be replaced in one second like there's a line out the door of people that want the job and it's like they it's almost like they believe their own hype and the ego gets in the way I think especially as the seasons go on and it's like you're gonna do yourself in I mean I see it every time like in the U.S. when it's your time to go it's like it's obvious to the audience it was like your time to go two seasons ago and you kind of did this to yourself. It's really the ego that kind of just goes out of control. It is always ego. And I think if you are, you have been brought up working and, and building yourself up, you understand that, you know, I mean, it's like every job or pitch that I go for, I understand I might not get it. I understand that any of my clients could replace me tomorrow. Um, and actually the older you get, the harder you have to work to keep, you know, to keep your business going. So that's exactly the same thing. The way I think about it is, you know, when you're, you know, my sister works in finance, she's the brains behind the operation. And she's you the know, silent financier. <laughs> you, you don't just jump in at the top. Tessie's been in this for, you know, what, four or five years now, you work your way up. So these women essentially are thrown into a major primetime show with absolutely no experience. So in their defense, it's like, you know, I am, you know, got half a million on Instagram. I'm releasing songs all the time. I got discovered by Elton John when I was 13. I'm still not there yet. I'm not even broken eyes yet. And I've been in this 10 years. Mm -hmm. So perhaps it's the experience and the hustle of me climbing this ladder that's got me to look back and be so grateful for every little blessing. So perhaps because they've had no ladder to climb, they're just mm -hmm. straight up the top on a primetime show. It's like, well, in their defense, maybe they, you know, they, they, it has gone straight to their head and they don't know any better. So from that perspective, it's like, you know, Perhaps if you didn't shut my mom out, she could have taught you a few lessons. I, I would have had to charge them. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. No, it's, that's, that's, that's a good point. And the producers, I mean, they don't hold your hand. They just throw you in and it's like, you have to figure it out for yourself. Like if you, no one's going to say, stay humble. Here's, here's our advice for the next season. It's like, here's the contract and go and you can either do yourself in or you can shine. Yeah, exactly. It's funny because I've always said to the girls, you know what, girls, don't jump into the sea if you don't want to swim with the sharks. That's my only message to them when they're going through life. I tell you what, I jumped into a shark tank this season. And even I was 
a surprise, but hey ho, it is what it is. We learn something new every day. Have you watched any of the U.S. versions of Housewives, like any of you? Yes, we yes. love Beverly yes. Hills. We yes. love it. Atlanta. We love Atlanta. I even, um, what was the new one? It, like, was Salt, Salt Lake City. Oh, yes. Great. I loved it. It was yeah. glamour, fun. You know, these, this entertainment, that's what I want, you know? And I think, I think the, the advantage they have is that, um, these women all have lives and they're all doing things. And I think that is, you know, that's the kind of key for it all, that if you have your own life and you're busy, regardless of what it is, and you can share that with the world, then it's a, it's a nicer watch, isn't it? Because you can actually roll with it. But you know, when you don't have lives and you're not busy, it's quite tricky. And so you end up just making stuff up. And I think that's where you, that's where it gets disappointing. But the American franchises are sensational. They are. You know what? You just, I, I've never thought of it like that, but you're right. The Americans are filming their lives as housewives. Whereas mm. here, these women, their life is housewives. Do you get me? And it's like, there's not, ah, there's yes. nothing to, yeah. Like, your personality is being a housewife on the show whereas the americans it's like we're not even mentioning the cameras we're going around our life and it's like this is us we're cool independent incredible boss women you know so maybe that's where it's at i mean i love lisa vanderbump because you know she kind of reminds us or me of uh, myself of her because you know she works so hard and she's got yeah, many different brands it. and you don't get to you don't get there unless you put in the hours you know and I you know people are always maybe trying to have a go and I'm like look friend I'm up before you're awake and I go to bed when you're asleep you know yeah. so and I think you see that with you see that with the ones that shine you know because they're they're working hard they're delivering the goods and everything that they do do you have a favorite any of you of the U.S. housewives out of all the People. Oh, I, I love Lisa. I love, I love Lisa. Lisa Serena too. Yeah. I love Lisa Serena. I think she's, especially with her daughters. I love the fact she's on TikTok. I love the fact that, actually, funny enough, um, Delilah's boyfriend, Eyal, was a very good friend of ours in yeah. London. So now, I, like, I see Delilah all the time because she always comes over to London to see Eyal. Um, and Eyal was on a show here called Love Island, and he's just, like, the nicest guy you'll ever yeah, meet. very nice. And I love the fact that he's just, like, fully, like, in Christmas dinner in Lisa's house now. I'm like, you guys are just, they're just little soulmates. So I love them, and I love watching them on the TV. I think it's brilliant. It's brilliant, but love the family. Do you ask Delilah and Eyal about Lisa? No, but to be fair, well, you did at least Serena's beauty stuff and she oh, was I like messaged you and we posted it, didn't she? Yes, it was very funny because I do a lot on, you know, I get sent a lot of product and yeah. um, I'm a lipstickaholic, a bit like her. And I'm also very fussy, you know, um, and I got sent all the Lisa Serena stuff and I thought, right, I'm going to really do an honest critique of what I think because, you know, I've got like mm -hmm. hundreds of lipsticks. Um, and I couldn't believe it. They were really cool. They were really brilliant colors. So and, glossy. And, you know, she's just got that right level of nude that a lot of people try to get, but don't get. And, um, you know, I did a, a Instagram reel and I shared it and she must have seen it and she shared it and, and spoke about it. And I thought, my God, that's so funny. But you know what? She's got a great product. And if people have got a great product, then I'm absolutely delighted to support women entrepreneurs. I think it's brilliant. Maybe the next time Delilah comes to the UK, she'll bring Lisa with her. You're right. You're right. <laughs> we should invite right. Lisa to Jersey, actually. That's yeah. what we should do. We should be. That would be, that would be good. Are you guys like up, like, do you get like the Beverly Hills, like in all that current, like, are you on the current seasons or is it behind there? Yes. No, we are. It's a little bit behind, but, behind. Yeah, but not too far. Not but too far. far. I hear you. Yes. So that's like next day, same day from the US. Um, they're really pushing that so um, yeah we'll just watch that when we can and yeah love it what do you think of like you know the whole Erica Jane thing that kind of took over last season and is taking over I mean and her talk about the real world I mean that's about as real as it gets 